How are you doing, Helena? I'm doing well. Good. Well, you made it 12 weeks. 12 weeks. The Miracleist. The Miracleist. <laughs> did a great job. Thank you for participating. And um, so today we're going to give a little testimony about what miracles God did in your life or what he started showing you or just what happened. So wherever you want to start. Okay. First of all, I just want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to share my miracle of attending this class. I'm so grateful for um, a lady that God had placed on my, in my life to share about the Arizona Deliverance Center mm -hmm. and how it can be a benefit to my life. And I took the step of faith and I remember signing up and I was like, unfortunately, I can't attend the first session, but you made it available to me to watch the video online and still do my homework and come to the next class. And I was just, wow, amazed at the teaching, at the instruction of going through the process of healing and restoration and deliverance. We see deliverance videos all over YouTube, but it's they never talk about the process that we're going to go through mm -hmm. or that we need to go through. And coming to the Steps to Freedom has allowed me to see the process that deliverance requires and the maintaining of deliverance to live a life of victory. And when we have those times where we might fall short, because we will fall short, mm -hmm. we can get back up and walk in God's freedom Amen. and glory, all for his glory. Yes. The first session talked about writing the list of those who have heard us and writing that list. It was really hard. It was really difficult because you have to think your whole life, the people that, that have hurt you, that have let you down. And I'm thankful that the Holy Spirit was able to show me of the areas and the people that I need to forgive and that I needed to repent and renounce and bless them, mm -hmm. which was a, a good thing to bless people because the Bible does tell us to bless our enemies, bless those who persecute us. But it was like hands-on training that we're getting. And then when we get into our group at the end of the class and we're able to share and be vulnerable and let tears out and let those tears bring healing to us, just like you, you tell us, Julie, that our tears are healing. They really are healing. And I'm thankful that God bottles up our tears. I know. <laughs> <Me> too. <laughs> it brings so much healing and release. The thing also that I was able to pinpoint is anxiety. Mm. Now, dealing with anxiety and how to, you know, bind, bind Satan and his demons and renew my mind, constantly renewing my mind with the Word of God and being empowered with the Word of God to use it effectively yes. to fight off the enemy, to fight him off because we have to fight him off until the day God decides to take us home. Right. And I believe that this class has equipped me to be able to fight off the enemy, and not just me, but to show my family mm -hmm. and to show the people that God is going to place around me. Wow. That's a great testimony. In such a short amount of time, and I know you've been going to church for a long time, but to be able to learn so much that you just shared in such a short amount of time was really outstanding. Yes. And that's the miracle. Yes, that is the miracle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So we're paused. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight. This is the last class, Steps to Freedom. And I'm asking for a testimony. You know, we went through the miracle list. So maybe you have a miracle or you have a testimony to share. Um, well, I mean, she did a good job, she did a good <laughs> job. explaining everything. Yeah, but what um, has God done in your life in well, the last 12 weeks? Maybe one little thing or it's been a process, whatever you want to share. It's been awesome. God is just awesome. It's, it's like I've been in church my whole life. I've slid back. I've come back. I slid back. I've come back. But like learning in this class, the deliverance and everything like that, it's just learning how great God's love is and how merciful he can be towards everybody. Just, he, he's just awesome. God is 
always there. And like learning about, it's like learning a new chapter in God's life, basically. Like you can read the Bible, yes, but if you don't understand it, you don't have people like you, or if you don't have people like teachers to tell us exactly, you know, what's going on and give us a little bit more experience so we can learn more for ourselves, we're kind of just stuck and like just a waiting pool, just like not going anywhere. It's like we have to go out and find more about God because God is such he's so vast he's been here way before we were even made because he created us he's the same yesterday today and forevermore and we just like touched the tip of just understanding that God exists but with the miracle list and going through this 12-week class I've just learned that God does answer prayers and it's with in you know renewing our mind and having a mind like his and a heart like his that our prayers can be answered like that bible verses i do apologize i don't know which chapter it's in but you know um god if when we if we don't ask we don't get from god and if we ask and we ask a mist he won't answer us so basically it's like saying if we have a heart like his we constantly renew our mind we change our hearts to have a, a, not a heart of stone a heart of the flesh of which he would give us he will answer our prayers because then our prayers match what he wants for us in our own lives mm -hmm. so i just in that aspect i've learned so much that god is always there and he always will answer prayers as long as you have a heart like his and you're constantly praying that he stays with you and that you go and look for him more <laughs> so that's what i've learned and there's just so much more just vast majority of knowledge and everything and it's just if i had one thing to say about this class is like definitely do it mm. definitely learn more about yourself learn that you know god is just merciful and gracious and loving and he's always there and he always will help i agree <laughs> thanks for sharing thank you <laughs> i was not allowed oh, last wow. time last tuesday i was ready yeah, yeah I'm ready. Okay. lorena i'm so glad you came back this week our final week yes yes so what has god done in your life in the last 12 weeks well uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you, thank the Deliverance Center for this opportunity. This, uh, I really, really love my classes and I truly lamented the times when I couldn't come mm -hmm. because it was part of my, my life, my routine. So it was very, very important and I was happier because mm -hmm. of my classes. It was something I always looked forward to. Nice. It Tuesdays nights, Tuesday nights. And I really enjoyed it. I learned and and there's so many things, so much information. Plus the camaraderie was mm -hmm. awesome. I truly loved my sisters and the the compassion, the the level of understanding. Mm -hmm from one another that was also something that I cherished a lot and uh, well I felt like I said happier just from being in this class and that's that says a lot and and also I I noticed that yeah I was feeling happier and I like I had m like a lot more positive thoughts from morning till night. Mm. And I noticed that, that there was no, you know, ugly thoughts that I had to fight. I yes. just noticed when they kind of like, wow, this is really a breakthrough. Mm. And I thought in my heart, maybe I'm beginning to see myself in the same way that God sees me. That's awesome. Like, because he has corrected me before. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, he said, you're a proud woman. Mm -hmm. Because I was being proud. I was being, I thought that I deserved something. And he said that. But 
but but mm, he does he he called me proud but he didn't call me names like nothing ugly but from the moment i started taking these classes i noticed that that completely disappeared yeah. no bad thoughts no putting myself down mm -hmm. in any way that is kind of eliminated from my vocabulary and to me that is a big thing that's great. Mm -hmm. yes. I think there's a lot of people that <clears throat> would like to be able to say one day, mm. those negative thoughts are just no more. Yes. That's a big deal. It is. That's peace. It's peace, yes. How have you been sleeping? I am sleeping. Yes. I am <laughs> sleeping. Thank God. Yes, you weren't yes. sleeping, but now you are. Now I'm sleeping Good. nicely. Yes, my body is like like a clock now. Like a, if at 9.30 I begin to feel I go to bed. And before you were not sleeping? Before I could go to sleep, but then three hours later I was like uh, turn, okay. turning and tossing. And now, no, it is eight hours. Perfect. Eight hours. Beautiful. Like Beautiful. It makes a difference. I'm not... Oh, huge difference. Huge yeah. difference, yes. I, I, yeah, losing your sleep is very, very... And it's concerning yeah. because you cannot function, you cannot think or react uh, right. right, exactly. So, yes, I am sleeping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Great. God. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, Done in your life <laughs> in the last 12 weeks? So much. So much. Uh, I do want to say this class has stretched me. And uh, it um, caused me to go deeper. So even though I was teaching the Miracle List, I was also going through the Miracle List. And I did see um, some miracles in my life. And one I'm going to share. I guess I didn't share it yet in the class, and so I'm sharing it online right now. So I shared one story about being in the Atlanta airport <clears throat> and that I had to... Uh, use the restroom in the TSA line. Well, that was on my way back to Phoenix. Going to Atlanta, um, a miracle did happen. Unbelievable. So I uh, got to the airport. I had a full size piece of luggage that I needed to check at the ticket counter. And I got there five minutes after they closed the doors, right? They said, you're five minutes late. We cannot take your full-size bag. So um, that was disconcerting. And I then <clears throat> had a lot of anxiety about, okay, what am I going to do with my luggage? I'm, you know, the plane, I gotta, they're going to be boarding soon. Anyway, I, I get upstairs. I think, well, maybe I'm going to purchase a, a small size carry-on. The carry-on price, I looked at it, $625. Wow. I said, no, I'll buy a whole new wardrobe for that. <laughs> I can't do that. So that didn't make sense. I don't understand. So more anxiety. I get up there. I'm thinking, okay, uh, maybe I can make my bag. It was a duffel, and I could collapse it. I had some things I could just get rid of, so I, I stowed them away in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'm going to collapse it and, and get out there and wait for them to board. Well, it turns out that the plane was three hours delayed. Wow. So some time passes. I decide to go get my items from the bathroom, put it back in my suitcase. <clears throat> so it's a full-size suitcase. I checked my bag at the gate. And if you know, maybe a few years ago, you could pull your bag to the gate, they'd give you a ticket, and then you walk it down the runway. I think that's the correct terminology. Uh, you set your bag there, and a man comes up from below, takes your bag, and brings it down the steps and puts it on the plane. Okay, so in the past times, I would have to wait there at that door when I land to get my bag. Um, other things that are stowed that way are like strollers and walkers. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Okay. So I left my bag there. They took it. I got on the plane. I land in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm now waiting at the top of those stairs in 
Atlanta on this at the terminal. <clears throat> well, my bag never comes. Strollers are brought up and other things are brought up, but my bag is never brought up. So now the whole plane is empty. I um, go into the Atlanta airport, and if you've ever been there, you know there's a lot of people there. Um, so I have to walk all through. Uh, to get the baggage claim, I have to get on the train again, all those stops, the baggage claim. Finally, I find it, and there's probably at least 20 carousels for planes. I don't know how many. A lot. It felt like 20. It felt like 100. So I'm walking, walking, walking. I get to the carousel that I remember them saying, your bag is going to be on this carousel. Okay, so I go there. The carousel's empty, completely empty. So um, feeling stress, more stress, right? It was stressful. This whole thing's stressful. So I walk to, it was Frontier Airlines. I go down to the office. It's clear on the other side of baggage claim. Uh, I get down there. The lady says to me, um, well, what carousel? Oh, you came from Phoenix? Okay, well, here are the bags, these luggage. Is your luggage here? I look, I say, no, my, my bag's not there. She gets on her computer, she looks, oh, your bag is still in Phoenix. I'm thinking to myself, okay, that's bad. Um, I have friends picking me up, it's two and a half hour drive. When is my bag gonna be here? In two days. All right. Um, anxiety? Anybody? You know that feeling? It's rising. I'm feeling very anxious. I'm f and I had this thought in my mind that she's not telling me the truth because she kind of was taunting me a little bit. Do you see your bag here? Oh, it's not here. That was because you were late to the airport and the, the whole thing. And I felt really bad. So she hands me a uh, clipboard with, uh, it's a claim form. Fill this out. We'll get you your bag. We'll call you when it arrives. And then you'll have to come and get it. In two days. Another two and a half hour drive, right? So I take the clip, I write my first name down. I take the clipboard. I said, I'm a, I'll be back. I'll be back. So I go out. I'm like walking aimlessly now in the baggage claim. And my brain shuts down. So we have the amygdala here in our brain that when anxiety attacks, you can't think straight. And I was not thinking straight. I called my friend, hey, could you come in here and help me fill out this paperwork? She's like, oh, I'll have to park. But I'm like, no, don't park, oh my gosh. So I'm feeling anxious. And I, I have had an anxiety attack before in public and lost power in my legs. And I could feel it. And I'm like, no. I felt it rising and I'm like, no, calm down, Julie, <laughs> calm down. Um, like, Marla, calm down. And I just thought, okay, I prayed. Got off the phone with her, and I prayed this prayer. It wasn't even a complete prayer. Lord, if it is at all possible, meaning, Lord, if it is at all possible, let my luggage be here. I walked back to the carousel where I had originally gone to. Now it is full, and there's a ton of people around the carousel from a new flight, right? I finished that prayer, Lord, if it is at all possible. I said it in my mind. And the moment I finished that prayer, my eyes landed on my luggage. Instantly, he answered my prayer. And on top of that, it wasn't even my piece of luggage. I borrowed it from Laurie. <laughs> so I didn't even recognize it, but I, it, my eyes landed right on it. And I was like, I don't know how you did that, Lord. But that was cool, and I'm thankful. Yeah. <laughs> and that was one of several um, very amazing things that happened in my life in the last 12 weeks. Wow. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that concludes 12 weeks of Steps to Freedom. We went through the miracle list. We went through uh, nine weeks of going through step by step. We merged some of the steps, but we got through it, and it was really amazing. We just heard some testimonies. Um, if you want to take part in, in the class, okay, it's going to be in August, and this YouTube is going to be up for a while, so I don't know what I'm even saying. But if you want to be a part of the class, and there might be some opportunity for Zoom in the future, go ahead and email me at steps to freedom adc at gmail.com. So for all of you who are in town, yes, this class is going to start this round, August 2nd, 2022.
Same place at the Arizona Deliverance Center. And we'll, we'll keep it the same, 6.30. I think that's a good time, 6.30 to 8.30. Um, <clears throat> since I, I've done the little teaching on the different parts of the miracle list, I will do something different every week. Okay, and I'll go in depth. I don't know what that is yet. I have to let the Holy Spirit lead me. So uh, we'll continue to do a little teaching, and then we'll get into a round, uh, a group, and do sharing. So that's the format that it will be, okay? Um, I guess I'd like to just say thank you to people that have streamed and have been watching. I hope you continue to watch us and share with your friends. Thanks.